Okay, so we did practice story writing last school year in first grade. I did introduce story writing to you guys. And so that's what we're going to shift to for the rest of the school year. We'll be moving on to story writing, writing stories. Okay, so last year we did do it, but our stories were usually a lot shorter. This school year, your stories will be a lot longer and they'll have more detail because we're in second grade. So we should be able to create more uh, bigger stories than we did last year. So just like last year, we'll start off with the first story, which is similar to the one we did last year, but this one will add more to it. Um, last year, we just covered the basics. This year, when we write our About Me, we're going to cover more, okay? So if you remember, when writing a story, a story is a bunch of sentences that are put together, right? It's just a bunch of sentences that are together. The thing with story writing is that your sentences have to have a flow that flow together, right? You can't start it off with one day I went to the store, the red car ran the red light. Like that didn't flow together, right? That doesn't make sense. So whenever you're writing a story, you usually have what's called a title. The title of your story is what your story is called. And more than likely, your title is going to match what the story is about, okay? So again, you'll have a title and then you'll have to write, your title will be what the story is about. Like when we read and reading, right? When we read our stories, we have our title and the story matches the title. So that's what you'll learn how to do this school year is how to create your own titles for your story. For our first one, I am going to create the title for our first one. But starting next week, you will create your own titles for your story. I'll just give you the topic that you have to write about and you will then create your story and you have to create your own title. Okay, so again, a story is just a bunch of sentences that have been put together as one. It's combined all together. All the sentences have a flow. Now, it's important when you're writing your story that you don't just keep writing, like you keep writing. We, we write the story how we talk. So you see how every time I'm talking, I pause? That's because that's a complete sentence. So when I have that complete sentence, if I was writing it down, I would write it, put a period, then I would start my next one. See what I'm saying? Okay, so that's what we'll be doing this week. We'll kind of get started with story writing. I'll kind of correct and edit your stories and, um, excuse me, and I will work on it as we go, okay? So this week, our story is going to be in About Me, like I said, which we've already, we did this one last year. We just have a new part that we're going to add to it this year that we didn't have last year, but we're going to do our About Me. So if the title of the story is About Me, then your sentences have to be about yeah. you right your story has to be about you so before we get started into our story let's go ahead and break down some of the things we would need to discuss in our so what is the first thing you would need to tell everyone in your about me name. your name of course so your first sentence should be your name now how would i write that in a sentence would i just say miss Fluges? Yeah. No. How would I write telling someone my name in a sentence? You would say, my name. my name is such and such. But we're not starting yet. I just wanted to get that clear. Okay. After we say our name, what's another thing we can tell someone about ourselves? Our name. Our age. We can tell them our age. Now, would I just put six or seven? No, no I will put I am six Eight. years old or seven. Well, y'all should be seven. Seven years old. Eight. Okay. Okay, so your name, your age. What's another important fact you would tell someone when telling them the basics about yourself? You said your name, your age. That's going to come after. But yes, we will do that. We're telling them the basics of who we are. So we say our name, our age. That's favorites come later. No favorites. Anybody online? So we tell them our name, our age. What are some other basic things about who we are? We would say grade, our grade. We would tell them what grade we are in. Your grade and your school. So you would say I am in second grade at whatever school you go to, okay? So what else? Basics. So your name, your age, your grade in school. What else? Basics about ourselves. Our name, our age, 
our great school. Your family, tell us about your family. What will we yeah. say next? Our parents' names. We will tell them our parents' names. We will then tell them our parents' name. My mom's name is such and such. My dad's name is. So then five. So if we said our parents, then next we would say our siblings. Well, brother, your siblings. They're called siblings. Okay, so then you would tell your siblings. You would say, I have one brother and two sisters, or I have two sisters, four brothers, whatever it is that you have. So then you would tell them your siblings. So these are the basics about ourselves. This is our first part of the story today. So we would give our name, our age, our grade, and school we go to, our parents' name, our siblings. That's our basics, okay? All right, so that shouldn't take you long because we're going to do part one and part two today. We'll do part three tomorrow. So I'll give you what time is that I'll give you like 10 minutes to get this first part done. Then we'll do part two. Okay, so guys, do not number it like this. Don't number it. You don't number a story. I just have it like that. I'm about to erase the numbers, but don't number it. We are putting all of this into oh. sentences. Okay, so you'll start with the first one. My name is such and such, period. I am seven years old, period. I am in second grade at PCA, period. My mom's name is such and such. My dad's name is such and such, period. I have two brothers, three sisters, okay? And listen, so whenever you are writing your sentence, I'm sorry, your story, so guys, you're gonna have to do it on a loose leaf paper. I really need it to be done on a loose leaf paper, okay? So when you're writing your story, so say if you do your first sentence and you say, my name is such and such. If you still have room, keep writing on that same line. Don't stop it and go to a whole new line. If you're writing and you still have room on that same line, keep writing. Now, when you're writing on loose leaf paper, what's important is staying inside the red lines. You have a red line on this side, a red line on that side. Stay inside your red lines. Do not go outside the lines. Also, make sure you skip lines as you're writing your story. So online, when you're turning your story on Thursday, it has to be on loose leaf paper. It has to be inside the red lines. And you also have to make sure to skip lines, okay? That's important. Huh? Yeah, that's a big time to read. Okay? All right, so y'all can go ahead and begin. Start your first part of the story. I'll give you 10 minutes, and then we'll do the second part. Part two. Okay. Part two. So I'm about to erase part one. So if you didn't finish, you'll just have to kind of go back to the Zoom. So let's go ahead and go to part two. My name is All right. So once we gave everyone the basics, now we'll go into some more. Now giving information about things that we like and just things about us. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and list some of our favorites we're gonna let people know some things that are are our favorites you know that's letting people know more things about you that's you know all right so let's go ahead so if we're talking about our favorites what are some things we could say what are some favorites we can get our favorite what our favorite color what else could we give as a favorite favorite color favorite food what else? Favorite color, favorite food, favorite uh, TV show that we like to watch, our favorite TV show. What else? Oh, I know. I know. Our favorite chore. Okay, your favorite chore around the house if you like to do chores. Okay. Our favorite. A hobby. A hobby is like if you play baseball, you dance, things like that. That's a hobby. Okay. But we can also say sport as well. Favorite sport. Okay. What else could we tell people? Our favorite what? Our favorite 
Subject in school, our favorite subject we like to learn in school. Okay, what else? Online, y'all have nothing? Okay, favorite what? You can say your favorite, um, your favorite place to visit, favorite place to visit. Okay. So we have color, food, TV show, chore, hobby, sport. If you have a favorite character, your favorite scripture, if you have a scripture that you like. Okay. Anything else? Uh, huh? A favorite animal? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So these are just, okay, what? No. Okay. So these are some favorites. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11, but I want you to pick six of your favorites. Okay, so six of them, whichever one out of this list you want to tell. So how would your sentence be? My favorite place to visit is such and such. My favorite color is, okay, that's how you have to start each sentence with my favorite and whatever it is that you pick. Okay, that's six sentences. That should be six things that you pick as your favorite. I'll give you a few minutes to work on that. Do y'all understand? Yep, all right, go ahead. I'll give you 10 more minutes for that. Go ahead and move on to phonics and language. So that's it for today. We have part one and part two done. Tomorrow we'll do part three, okay? All right, phonics and language. Yeah, we don't have, yeah, we get graded on that anymore. Okay, page 231, that's where we are. 231, phonics and language, page 231. All right, let's look at 231 in our final language, 231. All right, let's go ahead and begin. So remember, we've been learning contractions. That's what we'll be writing, contractions. Remember, two small words put together to make a shorter word. All right, first one, I'm. I'm. What's the contraction for, how do we write a contraction? I'm. Thank 
If I gotta tell y'all one more time to mind your business. Okay, how do we write I'm? I'm, how do we write I'm? Okay, Kenley. I apostrophe M, I. M. Next contraction, he's. 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 Okay. <clears throat> he's. How do we write he's? Okay. H E apostrophe S. Good. H E apostrophe S. Next one. We're. We're. Weird. <laughs> Yes, Dennis. Can I do the next one? Oh yeah, we're okay. How do we write we're? W E R and W E R E. Uh, what are we missing in between? Apostrophe. apostrophe. Yes, apostrophe R E W E apostrophe R E. Okay. All right. Last one. Aisle. Aisle. Oh, I, 
Okay, aisle. How do we write the contraction? Aisle. Okay, what you got? All right. Aisle. I L L. Aisle. That's I will. Aisle. Okay, second row. Write the sentence. Throw that bread away. Throw that bread away. Throw that bread away. Miss Williams, what you say again? Uh, throw that bread away. Throw that bread away. Okay, throw that bread away. All right, good. Let's go ahead and look at the board. Let's cover a couple of things on the board. Okay, so guys, if you remember, I told you that some contractions are the same as some words that we use, and we'll use them inside of sentences, but when we write it, we have to make sure we're using the correct one. What's important is to remember that a contraction is two words that were put together. So when you read it, Read a sentence with the contraction, break the contraction up to read it to make sure to see what it sounds like. So for example, this sentence says, you're not going to the store. So we have your and your. We have the regular word your, and then we have the contraction your. So this contraction your is actually you are together. So is it you're not going to the store or you are not going to the store? Which one would make more sense? Your, you are, why oh, you are, or your, you are not going to the store. Which one? You are. So it will be the contraction. You are not going to the store. Okay? Let's look at this one. The cat ate its treat. So we have the regular word, it, and then we have the contraction, it. Now the contraction, it, is actually what two words? It is. So let's read it with like that. The cat ate it is treat. Does that make sense? No. So which it would it be? This one. So guys, whenever you have a sentence with the contraction, read it with the contraction broken up. Because of course it's going to sound right if we just say it. But this it is it is. It's not the same thing. Okay? It's not the same as it. This one is regular it's. This one is it is. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and look at these contractions here. So I have did not. What would it be as a contraction? Tell me. Didn't. Would not. What is it as a contraction? Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Thank you, Dennis. You're the only online I'm hearing today. Could not. What is the contraction for could, could not? Couldn't. Couldn't. And you are. What's the contraction for you are? Your. Your. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and look at these two prefixes. It's not necessarily, well, one of them is on our chart, the other one is not, but we're gonna learn how to properly use those contractions. So we have re, R-E, which means to do over. Like if I say relearn it, that means we need to learn it again, relearn. Then we have un, which we already learned on chapter 12, and un means not. Like if I would say untie, that means to not tie it, right? 
So let's look at this one and we're gonna add either re or un. So is it gonna be reread, meaning do it over, or unread, don't read? Which one would it be? Read. Thank you, reread. Unread is not a word. Reread means to read it over again. Let's look at this one. Is it retie or untie? Retie. Retie or untie? Untie. untie. And we got to do it again. I mean, sorry, not do it again. Don't tie it. Next, we have rehook or unhook. unhook. I don't want unhook. to hook it, so that means unhook. Is it replay or unplay? Replay. replay means to do it again. Replay. Next, we have reuse or unuse. Reuse. Um, do it again. Unused. Use it again. And then resave or unsave. Unsafe meaning it is not safe. Well, yes, dangerous, but not safe. Okay, so you'll see that in your book on today. All right, all right, guys. Uh, that'll be it for our morning Zoom. Oh, it's our reading. All right, sorry, reading. Get out your reading books. Miss Logan.
All right, let's go ahead and get to our reading. All right, we are all let's start on uh let's go. I know, but I don't All right, let's go to 55, the swing. Fifty-five. All right, Dennis, start us off. Fifty-five, the swing. The word to watch for is pleasant tense. I don't know. The swing. How do you you got it, Dennis. You're on mute. Oh, okay. How do you like to go up in a swing? Up in the air, so blue. Oh, I do think it's the pleasant, pleasant thing. Pleasantest? Pleasantest thing ever a child can do. Up in the air and over a wall. So I can see so wide rivers and trees and cattle and all. Overside and all over the countryside till I look down on the garden green, down the, I mean, down the earth so brown up in the air. I go flying again up in the air and down. Okay, good. All right, so it's just a poem. We're not really questions about that. All right, 56, time to rise. Joshua, 56, time to rise. Um, Miss Legends, uh -huh. I don't have my book, but you can't put it on the screen. Oh, I, I don't have it to put it on the screen, but that's okay. You can maybe just listen. Okay, so I'll buy you 56. A bride, a bride. With yellow, with a yellow bill, with a yellow bill hop upon the window, still crooked. His shining eye and said, Ain't you shamed, you sleepy head? Okay, good. 57, the land of counter pain. Kinley? When I was sick, when I was sick and lay in lay a bed, I had two pillows at my head, and all my toys beside me me lay to keep me happy all day. And sometimes for an hour or so, I watch my leading soldiers go with different uniforms and drills among the bed clothes through the hills. And sometimes set my ships and fleets all up on, all up and down among the sheets. I brought, brought my trees and, and house out and planted cities all about. Okay. All right. Let's not done. How is it? How is the giant great and still that sits upon the pillow hill and sees before him the and plain, the pleasant land, land of counter pain? All right, my shadow. Okay, 59, and it goes into 60. My shadow. Um, 
I have a little child that goes with me out, out with me. And what can be the use of him? He is very, very, wait, it is more than I can see. He is very, very like me. Front me, front the hills, up, up to the hills, and I see him jump. jump before me when I jump into my bed. The funniest thing about him is the way that he grow, the way that he likes to grow, not at all the problem children, which is always very slow for him, for he sometimes shoots up taller like and what's mm -hmm. what is India India rubber India rubber ball and he sometimes gets so little that there's none of him at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. It's 60 as well. Yeah. He hasn't got... Um, I don't know. What? Oh, no. what? No, that one. Nation. He hasn't got a nation, no, notion, notion. notion of how children thought to play and can only make a fool of me is very short of a way he stays so close beside me. He he's brought forward to you can see, I think, going to sick a nurse, a nurse, nursery at, as the shadow sticks to me in the morning, very, very early before the sun was up, I rose and found eating do. Shining dew on a very uh, on a every every buttercup, but my lazy little shadow likes to likes an iron sleepy head <laughs> and stay at home behind me and. Was fast asleep in bed. Hi, this is the phones, guys. It's just a lot of phones today. Oh, all right. Okay. You a ball, a built with you a block. Pass from place emos and blocks. Rain may make up rain and other go ram, but I can be happy and build a home. Let me stop that, uh, let the sofa stop that sofa the mountain the abbot the bc no carpet carpet b and the sea he, yes, I mean, they, 
This one is Sandy, and that one is more hard to the song of the sailors on board and see on the steps of my place. The king coming and going with presents and things. Now I have done with it down let it go all in a moment the town is laid low blocks upon block lying scattered and free what is there left of my town by the sea Yet, as I saw it, I see it again, the kirk and the palace, the ships and the men. And as long as I live and where I may be, I'll always remember my town by the sea. Okay, good. All right. Let's do our last two sixty-four. The cow, Dennis. The cow. And the cow. The cow, the friendly cow, all red and white. I love with all my heart. She gave me cream, all her might to eat with apple tart. She wonders, glowing there, glowing here and there. And yet, he cannot stray in all the pleasant air, open air. The, the pleasant light of the day and blown by all the winds past. And when all 
the shower. It wet with all the showers. She walked among the meadow grass and eats the meadow flowers. I woke up before the morning. I was happy all the day. I never said an ugly word, but I smiled and kept and kept at play. And now at last the sun is going down behind the wood. I am very happy for I know what I have, that I have been good. My bed is waiting cool and fresh with wind smooth and fair and I must off and I must off to slumber land and and not forget my prayer. Then I slept will hold me tight, then slept with, will hold me tightly, I will, till I, till I waken at the dawn, and hear the robin sing in the laces round of lawn. All right, good. All right, so I just want to get through those poems. Tomorrow we'll be back to our regular stories, okay? All right, guys, that's it for our morning Zoom. I'll see you guys later for um, math, language, and spelling, okay? Bye-bye.